All right, here we are with another condition with respect to the standard equation of the circle, which is uh, what happens to the standard equation of the circle when the circle passes through the origin. In the previous video, we did see that what happens to the standard equation of the circle when the center of the circle coincides with the origin. But in this case, the circle itself passes through the origin. That means the circumference of the circle, some point of the circumference of the circle coincides with the origin. All right, here we are. So what happens? Now see, we've got this x, y axis here, right? And we know that the point where the x and y axis meet is the origin, which is which has got the coordinate 0, 0. So what if the circumference of the circle passes through that point is exactly what's happening, right? This moving point is supposed to be p. So if that p passes through the origin, the coordinates of that become 0, 0. So what happens to the standard equation of the circle when the circle passes through the origin is what we're going to look into in this video. And apart from that, you know, the distance between the C and P is as usual denoted by A, which is the radius of the circle. And H, K are the coordinates here. You can see that the X axis is H and the Y axis is K. So now we have the standard equation as X minus H the whole square plus Y minus K the whole square equal to A square. But in this case, P of X, Y is the origin 0, 0. So X will be replaced by 0, 0 minus H the whole square plus 0 minus k the whole square equal to a square. So here it will be minus h the whole square plus minus k the whole square equal to a square. Minus h the whole square is of course h square. Minus k the whole square is again k square. So it, so it, so it becomes h square plus k square equal to a square. So h square plus k square equal to a square is the standard equation of the circle when the circle passes through the origin. So this is what happens. I mean you don't have to like kind of memorize this or something because uh, if you know this you're automatically going to come here so the only advantage you have when you memorize this is that you're going to save three steps you know save the time you're going to spend on these three steps you straight away know okay fine the circle is passing through the origin so you know the standard equation is not this anymore it becomes this so that's exactly what you can do if you know this beforehand all right so yeah that ends this video all right so i'll see you in the forthcoming video with another condition with respect to the standard equation of the circle.